Hi, Naked Squirrel here. I'm going to give a quick tutorial over how to install Team Fusion mod for Clips of Dover. It's really easy. I almost feel silly doing this, but um, here it goes anyways. Uh, first, you'll want to download the Team Fusion mod. Go to the ATAG website, and there's a little tab here. It says Team Fusion mod. You click on that. I recommend getting the all patches in one file and download that. It will take you a few hours uh, to download. And once you have, you will have this nice zip file with all of the different Team Fusion mod patches in there. So we'll take that and we will start installing from 3.0 all the way to uh, 4.312 just going in numerical order really and these are really easy to install all you do is open up the zip file um, and before we actually start running these um, You'll want to run the game first, make sure it works. Um, I've already run mine, I know mine does. Um, and also make sure you go through these files in the redistribution folder. Um, you'll want to run DirectX, the framework, the GDF install, and the VC redist, just to just to make sure that they're all up to date and working. Once you've done that, just go and run these EXEs. They are very easy. And you'll just put your directory in there. And it is literally the same for all of these. Just hit install. One down. Next we'll do 3.01. Next we'll do 4.0. And part of the reason I'm doing this is I had to reinstall Cliffs of Dover, and I figured I would show off how to do this. There was a video on it before, and uh, and it got deleted, so you can boredly watch me <laughs> reinstall the Fusion Mod if you like. And... It's so exciting to watch this stuff extract. Man, 4.0 has so much stuff in it. But these mods just completely change the game. It's just night and day. Okay. And 4.3. And if I wanted to be super methodical and safe, I would run the game between each install but it will work and I'm done here knock on wood all right and that's that 
Um, close all that out and run the game. And it should work just fine. Oops, gotta run Steam. Run Steam! Don't mind my icon, it's different just because I felt like changing it. I was bored. Everything looks good so far. Oh, that pesky intro video is back. And it looks like we are up to date. Team Fusion version 4.312 even have my controls configured. We'll see if the game runs. All right. That's all there is to it. Uh, one other caveat I'll show you is how to get rid of that pesky intro video. Um, back to the Clisted Dover folder. This is a must. Uh, go to, let me see. I remember. Yep. <laughs> I do, I've deleted this thing so many times. Go to Parts, Core, GUI, and you'll see this logo, WMV, and just change it to, I don't want to see this anymore, or whatever you want to name it. And this time when we run Twisted Over, we won't have that dumb intro video. Ta-da. Yep, that's it. I uh, hope it was useful to some of you. It's ridiculously easy to install the Team Fusion mods. They did a great job. Um, see you in the skies.